shit. Hello, people. It is your good friend, Chad Marco, here again with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. Now, this is episode 126, and basically, this episode is Topo, well, Godpo versus Bajita-san. Uh, so, let's get right into this awesome episode, man. So, it starts out where they left off with 17 versus Godpo. And, uh, you know, they're just duking it out, beams and blasts and shit. And, of course, Topo has the upper hand. Um, so... They're fighting all across the stage, and 17 hatches this plan. Now, this, this, I gotta say, this, this plan was really fucking weak, but I guess you gotta do something. So, 17 ends up luring Topo into like the middle of like, like a, a big rock structure. And his whole plan is to get Topo in the middle of it so he can attack the rocks and make them all fall on top of him. And he manages to do just that, but Topo easily breaks out of the crumbling rocks like it's nothing. So, I mean, really, 17, if that's the best you can do, then you need to just sit your ass down. That was that was probably the weakest plan out of like everything he's done so far, but whatever. So, yeah, Topo survives the whole rock plan, the rock strategy. And 17 is starting to get a bit overwhelmed. Uh, like I said, last episode, I think he pulled out his best tricks. I mean, once you get to the point where you're throwing rocks at people, I think it's, it's about over. But surprisingly, Frieza comes in for the rescue and saves 17. Now, I know that Frieza didn't get knocked out last episode, but I didn't expect him to be back in the game this fast. But really, then again, there's only there's only five minutes left. So uh, if you want to have a, a moment to shine, then you got to get it pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, Frieza saves 17 even after getting that crazy ass beating. Damn, I cannot believe he's still standing. I mean, damn. Uh, but it is Frieza we're talking about. I mean, damn, he's a, he's a tough cookie. Uh, regardless and um, he traps Topo with his paralysis technique he's able to kind of hold Topo down um, with some type of psychic paralysis power I don't think I've ever seen Frieza use this uh, correct me if I'm wrong but this seems like a new ability or at least new as far as actually showcasing it in an actual fight but yeah, he manages to lock Topo down for a little while and he throws some rocks at Topo. But I mean, what's up with the fucking rocks? I mean, God, the rocks are not going to beat this guy. Uh, but yeah, Topo breaks out and he proceeds to sun <laughs> Frieza yet again. You know, just grabs him like he's a little kid, um, tosses him around a little bit, uh, but doesn't quite demolish him like he did last episode and 17 and Frieza are able to regroup and gang up on Topo uh but it's just not enough Frieza isn't even in gold form 17 uh I, I think we, we we've all pretty much witnessed that he's not strong enough to take on Topo on his own um so it's not looking good Topo survives the whole gang up uh the whole plan to just jump him and but at this point everybody's feeling like this force they're feeling the force from goku vegeta and jiren's fight i mean just the shock waves from the punches and shit that they're throwing is is like destroying parts of the arena and like if you get caught up in it then you ask to get hurt like they're dodging the shock waves from like their punches and kicks and shit um and jiren throws out this this blast that Goku and Vegeta dodge, and it ends up hitting 17 and Frieza head on. Um, you know, pretty much knocking them out of the fight temporarily. So, this leaves an opening for 
you know, Jiren and Topo to take on Goku and Vegeta individually because it's starting to look like Goku and Vegeta are kind of getting to Jiren a little bit. I mean, he's strong, but, that, you know, that's two hot-blooded Saiyans all on your ass. So, you know, I think Jiren needs a break. So he gives Topo this look like, hey, bro, like, you take Vegeta, I got Goku. And, um, man, uh... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, Topo versus Vegeta. Here we go. And immediately, Topo just, boom, he just knocks the fuck out of Vegeta. I swear. It was fucking awesome. I mean, and Vegeta was so ready. He was ready to attack Jiren from behind, and Topo just, bam. So, like I said, man, 17 of Frieza, they're out. So, now it's just Goku, and, Goku versus Jiren and Vegeta versus Topo. Um, so, initially... Uh, Vegeta is being pushed back by Topo. He's surprised at how much stronger uh, Topo has gotten because they did have a little scuffle earlier in the um, Tournament of Power and they seem to be on equal grounds, but I don't really think um, Vegeta was going all out. And to be fair, Topo wasn't really going all out either, but now they're both kind of witnessing each other's like maximum power. Um, Vegeta unleashes a final flash and uh, Topo is able to beat it with uh, his Haikai, his power of destruction. And he's like, that's the best you can do? Like, come on, dude. Like, <laughs> wow. Uh, you can he, he straight up tells Vegeta, like, you cannot beat me. Like, straight up. Like, you won't win. Um, see, I'm sure Vegeta's in his feelings by this point. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't like hearing shit like that. Uh, but yeah, Topo pretty much proceeds to just beat on Vegeta. I mean, he gets a pretty nice combination on him. Uh, Vegeta does get like a nice little kick. I love that little leg kick that he gets on uh, Topo. Like, little pow. Like, bitch, get the fuck. <laughs> get that leg. <laughs> I like that. Um, but he's like, man, like, is this the same guy? I mean, he's so much fucking stronger now. Shit. <laughs> like, like, damn. But, um... At this point, um, they have like a little conversation and Vegeta's like, what happened to justice? Like, I thought, you know, and then Topo's like, uh, fuck justice, <laughs> pretty much like straight up fuck justice, man. It's not going to save our universe. So I got to go all out. You know, uh, justice is out of the window. Destruction is the game now. And, um, yeah, he hits Vegeta with, uh, you know, pretty much just kind of blows him away uh, to like a rock. <laughs> and Vegeta has has little time to sit there and reflect on his life. <laughs> um, but man, this is when I knew it was about to be a turning point. Vegeta was sitting there and he started thinking about his family. <laughs> and I was like, well, here we go. <laughs> Like whenever it's an anime and a character is thinking about his friends and his family, you can never count him out. I mean, he's about to get twice as strong. Um, he's about to get a second win. His energy is about to shoot up. He's about to fuck some shit up when he starts, to, you know, and then he starts thinking about the promise he made to Kaba, a fellow saying, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean. There's another planet, Vegeta, out there, in the, another Saiyan planet out there in, the, in another universe. Vegeta has to step the fuck up and beat Topo. He cannot afford to lose, you know? I mean, he makes a remark that, uh, you know, he, he would never lose to Topo because he cast everything away and decided to use destruction. But not Vegeta. He's not going to cast anything away. He's going to hold on to his family, his friends, his pride, and his fat and his uh, his promise to Kava and beat the hell out of Topo. So, to sum it up uh, neatly, Vegeta beats Topo's ass. I mean, he just comes in and just, just starts beating on the guy. Um... One of the things he does is like Topo shoots like that red ball beam out and Vegeta just goes right through it and Topo cannot believe it. And then from there, Vegeta just unleashes Pound Town on Topo's face. I mean, he's just going all out. Um, they're just I'm, at this point, Vegeta's just obviously just straight up winning. I mean, he's beating Topo's ass. Um, and the craziest thing was. 
um, Topo tried to use destruction against Vegeta again. And Vegeta kind of powers up his right, like he focuses like the God key in his right hand or something. And he punches right through it. I mean, mind you, Frieza wasn't even, even able to conquer Topo's destruction high kai power. And Vegeta now is just, I mean, that moment right there is just clear that, you know, it's like early on people were speculating that Frieza might be stronger than Vegeta. And I, I, I'm a Vegeta fanboy. So, you know, my opinion doesn't matter because I'm always going to be biased towards Vegeta. But I was like, really? You really think for even Golden Frieza? All right, let's see. This moment just straight up proves like Frieza is not on Vegeta's level. Vegeta would curb stomp Frieza right now. I mean, he straight punches right through the destruction. Um, he tells Topo, man, I won't lose to you. You can't even protect your pride. You bitch made. You fuck boy. You fat bitch. <laughs> like, you know, he just starts talking shit. And he just unleashes more ass whooping on topo i mean he's got the clear advantage but like what can he do to finish this guy i mean damn i mean topo is still covered in destruction he's not gonna go out easily a final flash really wasn't enough uh vegeta's gotta pull out something big for this and what he does is he does the suicide attack that he tried to use to destroy Majin Buu with. I mean, immediately Piccolo recognized what he was trying to do. He knew that Vegeta was going to try to sacrifice himself to, to knock out Topo. And um, because he was there when Vegeta fought uh, Majin Buu and used that to uh, destroy Majin Buu, which, you know, it managed to destroy his body temporarily. And it allowed, you know, Piccolo, Goten, and Trunks to escape, but Majin Buu was still able to recover. So that moment, even though it kind of went down in like in like DBZ history, you know, it didn't really finish the job. It just managed to kind of hold hold Majin Buu off for a while. Um, but yeah, I'm sure everybody remembers that attack. They show like a little flashback to it. And um, but yeah, Topo turns up too. Like he's not he's not about to go out like no bitch. Like he. Um, he creates two balls of destruction and combines them together to create like this, this mega high Kai sphere. And um, so now it's basically high Kai versus uh, Kamikaze, <laughs> the Kamikaze attack. Um, now, initially, when the, these two forces collide, the high Kai and Vegeta suicide attack. It looks like destruction wins because it, it manages to completely engulf Vegeta's attack. But soon after, you can see Vegeta's attack kind of breaking out of the high kai, like here and there, like boom, boom, like it's just exploding out of the high kai. And you know, that's just a big nope, <laughs> not enough. And there's just a huge explosion, just like when Vegeta fought Majin Buu. It destroys a significant part of the arena, and Topo is knocked out. He's knocked the fuck out, really. Um, I mean, he's even in fat mode again. I mean, it was bad. Um, now, uh, Piccolo assumed that Vegeta was dead because last time he used that attack, it killed him. But lo and behold, Vegeta survived. Uh, he just lost his his armor and he and his stamina. Uh, B. Roos commented that, uh, you know, even though he won the fight, he lost, he's now doesn't have anything in the gas tank left, but, uh, yeah, Vegeta survives, um, and 17 comes back out of nowhere, uh, but Frieza is nowhere to be found, um, so yeah, um, continuing, Jiren and this was kind of surprising Jiren kind of he steps up and he like he looks over at Dispo and Topo and he's like you guys are pathetic <laughs> I mean just straight I mean I'm like what that's your boys how you gonna, how you gonna tell your boys they're pathetic man like, that was so fucking cold but I guess at this point Jiren's got to be pissed even though he I, I mean even when you're the strongest you don't want all your boys to just get knocked out you know I, I mean how would goku feel if he was the last guy standing i mean he still got vegeta 17 and frieza hanging on gohan just got knocked out so you know it's like 
you know, you feel good about who you brought to the tournament. So I can kind of understand why Jaren was like pissed. It's like, especially like early on, like they lost like four or five pride troopers in like two episodes. Oh man. But yeah, he basically just tells him like, yo, you guys are pathetic, man. Like, I don't even know why I brought y'all. Like I should have just came by my damn self. And <laughs> it really is true. When you think about it. Um, and then he kissed the fuck out of Goku. Like he's a kid. Like just pow. Get fuck in my face. And he congratulates Vegeta on being able to defeat uh, Topo. I mean, he's been giving Vegeta a lot of love. I mean, Dan called him a warrior, congratulating him on being Topo. I mean, you know, he recognized. I, I think I think Jiren is a Vegeta fanboy on the low. I mean, damn, what can I say? <laughs> but yeah, and Jiren smiles for the first time. I saw, like people on 4chan. Uh, were commenting about it um, on the A board. They were like, "Oh man, like did you see Jiren smile." Like I forgot. Like, oh man, you never see that dude smile. There's this one like shop picture of him smiling, but I think that's I'm pretty sure that's fake. But yeah, and Jiren he looks pissed. I swear he looks like he's about to fuck everything up. He starts charging his power up, and the episode ends. And that was the gist of it, man. Um, overall, man. You know that I'm going to say that this was a great episode because Vegeta won. He beat Topo. Now, I mean, where do I start? man? I mean, because Vegeta, this isn't the first fight Vegeta has ever won. Probably isn't even the most significant play. I mean, because if you... If you factor in not only like like just the big W of a fight, but also assists, I mean, because Vegeta has had, had assists that were more significant than this win. You know, I mean, arguably taking an ass beating for Goku uh, by Kid Buu while he charged the spirit. Like, that was essential. He needed to take that ass. That ass beating was essential. Like, you know, probably way more important than beating Topo because, you know, Goku could have did that himself. Um, but this was just a straight, this was very good for, uh, Vegeta's legacy because this was just a straight, a straight up, like one-on-one -on -one fight against a, a big threat, a powerful opponent. I mean, Topo, even though he's not as strong as Jiren, I mean, nobody else was on his level except Goku. Gohan definitely couldn't beat him. 17 could beat could you know survive against him but couldn't beat him frieza couldn't beat him frieza and 17 couldn't beat him i mean so it's safe to say that topo was a significant threat and vegeta was able to take him out now of course this is no win against the main main bad guy like say a jiren or you know kid boo or cell etc but still like tobo was a very significant threat and given the fact that vegeta is i mean let's face it, even as vegeta fanboys you kind of have to take a step back and realize that vegeta is not the main character it's goku's job pretty much to take on the main bad guy but for vegeta to you know i feel like they really properly utilize vegeta's role this to i am a hundred percent satisfied with this fight at this point jiren can just beat vegeta's ass and knock him out and i'm still gonna be good because that's really all i wanted from vegeta and it's like just a significant win this was a very significant win taking on an opponent of his caliber um maybe not the main bad guy but definitely a significant threat i'll take that i can accept that and not only that but with an attack that in the past failed to finish the job the suicide attack works this time well not didn't kill him but you know it, it works it knocks topo out in magnificent flashy beautiful fashion i mean it was awesome it was epic it was powerful um this is definitely gonna go down in the vegeta highlights <laughs> this is definitely gonna be on the vegeta highlight reel uh for uh time to come man and Damn, I, I man, I, I mean, this episode is just so hype. I mean, just watching, just, I love seeing Vegeta beat people ass. I, I love seeing him just beat ass. I mean, because you know, when he punches, like, it's no mercy. It's just, I hate you. I want you to die. 
<laughs> That's why it's so satisfying seeing him win because, like, you know, there's hatred, pride, arrogance, and like just full force, de- just demonic energy behind every attack. Oh man, I loved it. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just uh, talk about this for like another five minutes. Cause I'm just, I'm still recovering from like the epic moment, but I fucking love it. I'm satisfied. Um, all the Vegeta fanboys on the A board, like they were all hyping it up. They were all satisfied and hyped. Like, man, and, you know the Vegeta haters were like making excuses and shit. So I mean, th- I mean that's how I knew. Like, oh, this was it. That was a hype ass moment, man. Like that was the shit. Damn. I mean, I oh god. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Vegeta got a fine victory today. Oh, man. And uh, Vegeta fanboys will be rejoicing for at least a week until Jiren proceeds to rape him. (laughs) I mean, you know it's coming, man. You know Jiren's going to knock the hell out of Vegeta. But, you know, all that being said, though, I love Vegeta, man, but... Vegeta is a nice distraction from how awesome Goku is. I mean, damn, bro. Like, I all like I get so distracted by Vegeta. I always forget how cool Go like when Go when it's time for Goku to step up to the plate, it's like a different feeling. Cause you know, like, like that's the last line of defense. You know, Goku just got that that it factor. He's got something special. Like, man, like, I always forget how much I really, I really do adore Goku, like, in a totally different way than Vegeta, but it's definitely, like, like, I definitely have, like, a, a, a high level of respect and, and, and just love for Goku as well, and I can't wait to see him beat the fuck out of Jiren, because you know it's coming, Goku don't play that shit, Goku don't play that shit, he's coming, Jiren, he's coming for that ass, Woo, boy, Vegeta had his time, but you know it's time for Goku to turn up for real. He about to really turn up on a motherfucker. Though Vegeta did was sweet. God damn, Goku about to go crazy in his bitch. Fucking monkey mode on this nigga. Ooh, but yeah, man. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got to say about this episode, man. It was a great episode. Uh, love seeing Vegeta beat ass. Can't wait to see uh, Jiren get serious, serious, serious and start kicking kicking some niggas out. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, man. I've been here too long. Shit.